Hello there. This is Cheryl Lentz, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. Talking to you on Tuesday at 2, and guess what? I ordered it special, but it usually my UPS man does not usually come this early. But my box of new product is here, unopened. I haven't opened it yet. I'm waiting to share it with you. So if you're joining me, please let me know. Hi, Patty. I'm so excited. I have goosebumps. I love when the new stuff comes. <laughs> That's why I don't get so upset when things are retiring. They're always going to come up with something I love. And I just trust Stampin' Up! so much that it's like, eh, not a big deal. Not a big deal. They're going to come up with something else I love just as much. So, very, very excited. So I am going to open the box and we're going to see the new in colors all together. And then I think what I'll do tomorrow when I do my video is I will take the new in colors and I will do a color comparison with some of the colors we have already. So we can talk about, you know, because sometimes you'll have in your mind's eye, well, that color is just like this color, whatever. Now, uh, mind you, I do not have... Um, old colors here. I only have uh, current stock. That's just one of my little pet things that I I usually only deal with current. I know it's so exciting, Patty. So I don't have old colors to pull up, but I have our current colors. So we can we can take a little comparison. Um, Judy K, you wanted me to do that. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to do a little comparison on um, maybe colors that are close to it, so you can see how different they all are. And also, hi Colleen, and also we'll do colors that will coordinate well with it. So I'm going to have so much fun. Ah, I'm so lucky. This is part of being a demonstrator that you get to get this stuff um, in your hands early. And it's like one of my most motivating things because it's just so darn exciting. Okay, enough chatting. I have to find my, um, I have to find my scissors and then I will um, we're gonna I'm gonna turn the camera around we're gonna cut open the box we're gonna look at all the new stuff Woo -hoo. turn the camera here we go all right you're just gonna see a big box a big box big box <laughs> there we go I'll just leave it like that all right and I know you're gonna hear me loud when I'm standing right here oh here's my excuse my reach okay I did, I did do, I didn't do a next day air, but I did do a second day air because I couldn't wait any longer and I wanted it here before the weekend. <laughs> I'm bad. I'm really bad. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Open, open. Ta-da. All right, here's the big unveiling. Okay, oh my goodness. So I'm gonna move it off to the side. So I can pull the stuff out and look at it. Oh my goodness sakes. Look at all this stuff. <laughs> so exciting. Bubble wrap. Let's <laughs> here's the list. Not that it's long or anything, but here's the list. 80, 80 items. <laughs> and I didn't take everything, but I just took what I needed. <laughs> and this is what I needed. So let's pull this aside. We're gonna look at the new, I see first thing up here are my new, let's see how you can see that. Yeah, I'm gonna move that over just a little more there. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna work over here. I don't even have my thing. So Stamping Journey, you know, that's me, stampingjourney.com. Okay, here's our beautiful fresh freesia. So these are the new in colors. <laughs> we'll even maybe pull out something and stamp with it. Polished pink. Lovely. Ah, uh, here. We have pale papaya. Lovely. Let's see here. I want to get all the colors out here first. Here's my fresh freesia. Pale, pale papaya. Oh, here we go. Evening evergreen, which you know is I love greens, so... That's a big thing for me. Love green. Let's see here. Here's the other one. Oh, that's polished pink. Pol polished pink. Okay. Let's see here. Let me move my... I have to get to... I should have another green. Here. Here it is. So, 
er evening evergreen. I have to have another one. Where's my other one? Here, oh, here it is. Here it is. Found it. Here's number five. Soft succulent. Oh, you guys, this is going to be so much fun. We are going to have so much fun playing with all these new colors. I'm just going to pull out the new ribbons, set them here, and then I'll pull them out and we'll look at them all. Not a problem. I know I have another. Okay, here's some dyes. Okay, here's our beautiful, the markers. So the in color markers. This is 2021, 2023, folks. We get to play with these for two years. These beautiful colors. Now, here we go. Here's our other. That's the freesia. Okay. So here's the colors. Fresh freesia. I haven't made up a story yet. Polished pink, pale papaya, evening evergreen, and soft succulent. So, and then here are the in-color ribbons. Let's open one of these. Let's open the green because it's so beautiful. But this is like we had... Let me see if I can... Uh, you know, they just don't look the same when you just look in a little, um, when you're just looking at a picture. Yeah, it's not the same. Just not the same. I'm having a hard time here. I'm so excited. Here's where the tape is. Let me get this. There we go. Please don't let me cut the ribbon. <laughs> here. Okay. Look at so we had ribbon like this white. Look at how soft and beautiful. I kind of messed it up there. I'll have to make that into a bow. So look at this ribbon. Oh my goodness, you guys, in all the colors. This is going to make beautiful bows. Oh, yay. Oh boy. This is, this is when you want to be a demonstrator because here's the blends. So... Here we go. Here's this one. So I have the blends for all the colors. Let's see here. Here's some more. Oh, here's the other, um, you know, the ribbons. So I, what do I need yet? I need the Fresh Freesia ribbon. Oh, and that's right here. So look at that. Is that not beautiful? Those colors? Ooh, la, la is all I can say. Ooh, la, la the blends. There we go. We have reinkers. Reinkers. Oh boy. Here's my other blends. Here's some stamp sets. Oh, here's the whoopsie. I'm going crazy, guys. <laughs> There's things falling all over the place. Here's the there we go. So, um, in the past, not all of the um, not all of the in colors had blends, but look, we do now. Lovely, lovely. So remember these colors. So pretty. Here's this. Okay, let's see here. I should have another. Here's my polished pink. Okay. Anyhow, so I have the ribbons. I have the reinkers. I have the markers. All for our beautiful new in colors. Yay, yay, and yay some more. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. Let's start pulling out a little product and taking a peek at it, shall we? Here we go. Here's my stack of goodies. Oh, I can't wait till tomorrow showing you guys the what's coming. Okay, let's see here. So, I have... Hand printed, look at this beautiful set and the dies that go with it. Let's see here. Color and contour, I think that goes with this. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what every, I'm not sure what all goes together right now because it's just, oh, this is pansy dies. Okay. So here's a cool set. Beautiful pansies. They have dies for them. Let's open this secret compartment here. These are photopolymer and look at this is something new folks. So when you're putting your stamps back you don't have to put them directly on the plastic like this. You can put them into your case 
and you've got it double sided where it, it'll match where your where your uh, stamps go, so it matches up, and you'll have them right in there. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting! Okay, let's look at this. Come on. Okay. Sometimes we reuse these bags. We try to reuse as much as we can in class and when we're doing things. So I try to be gentle with them. <laughs> so here's the pansy dies. Here's the pansy set. Here are the dies. 21 dies. Woohoo! Wow, that's a lot. And I know I have paper in here somewhere. Okay, let's look at the paper together. <laughs> Okay, here's the pansy paper. So let's set this stuff aside. I don't have the book memorized yet, so I don't know. I don't I don't know what the names, you know, it doesn't always follow. The names don't always follow. This one did because it said pansy dies. So thank you, Stampin' Up for doing that because for those of us that are a little more simple, <laughs> that's hard to not have it match. So look at this paper. Ooh, la, la. And I believe that these will cut out with the dies. I think you can cut some of these leaves out with the dies. I think both of them have dies here that look like they map, would match that. Oh, and gingham is back. Thank you. I love gingham. Love gingham. So pretty. Beautiful colors. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Ooh, and this is another one of those where if you don't want to stamp, you know, you don't have time or you're, you're on the fly, you could, put, you could cut these out ahead of time with your dies and take them along. And I love that it's kind of lined up so it's not here and there. You're going to use all your paper up because you're going to be able to cut all of these out with your dies and have all those beautiful pansies. Let's see what's on the back side. Oh! So pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh, ho, ho. so pretty. How soft is that? Love the background. Soft sea foam. Oh boy, there we go. We have a stripe. That's bold and beautiful. I love that. Oh my goodness. This would be perfect for a side. You know, sometimes you'll just have a little clip of a side that, since it goes long. And look at the little cute little bees. Mm, that must be the papaya. Oh my goodness sakes. Beauteous. That's lovely. Totally lovely. I'm just going to pop these two together and pop them off to the side here on my list of goodies. Okay, so I believe that this one, let's see what this paper says. This is hand pen designer series paper. Oh my gosh. And I think, oh here, okay, so the hand pen petals, right? And here's, so here's the paper, here's the stamp set, here is, oh here, I want to show you one other thing. My watch is flipping around here on me. So for the pansies, they have little bumblebees. Look at little metal bumblebees. Oh, I got to hang up on somebody. I don't know if this, I don't know who that is. Okay, look at these. These little metal bumblebees. Isn't that cute? They're adorable. They're adorable. Oh, it's probably, it's probably somebody calling about my car warranty again. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let's get back to this. Okay, the hand pen petals. So, take this off so I can use this again. Try to be good about that. So here are the dies for this set. 14 dies. Did you know that, so it'll have, this one at least is the same name. Um, sometimes what I'll do is on the bottom here, I will say coordinates with penned flower dies. And on here, I will do the same thing. Coordinates with hand pen petals so that I have it. But I like to keep this because this tells me how many dies are in here. There's 14. The count is at the bottom. Tells me how many dies. Oh, look at that. And this is what I loved about this set. 
a nice scallop border. Oh my goodness sakes. And look, so when this cuts this out, oh, oh see? So one is partial and then there's one all the way around. And it's gonna cut out all these little white pieces so you don't have all the white in between. Oh my goodness sakes, that's so exciting. So beautiful, beautiful. Let's look and see what the paper looks like. I'll put this back in here so I don't lose any. Oh, this is so exciting. I was thrilled when this, I, w I was like, the UPS man is here, yay. It's like Santa's come to town. Here we go. And then on the back, you know, it always says the name of the paper and then the coordinating colors. So, and how many you get in there. So, kind of fun. I like to look at that sometimes. Sometimes you just pull it and don't don't pay attention because it'll go with different things too. So lovely. Do you know that these are drawn out and, and like painted out and then they just uh, map it out so that it covers the 12 by 12. They have wonderfully talented artists that do this gorgeous work for us. Oh, look at how pretty and soft that is. Wow, beautiful. Oh, how gorgeous. Soft and lovely. Wow, look at how beautiful that is. Oh. <laughs> Save your pennies. You're going to need it for this book. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I love that this is a tight, smaller pattern. To me, that, and then all the different colors. So... Whatever color you're going to put with this, that color is going to pop out. Oh, that is just like a big bonus for me. I love that. So beautiful. Soft. Here we go. Oh, a little more a bolder pattern. So pretty. Ooh la la. Just lovely. All this kind of modeled background, different patterns on it, but a modeled um, coloring. Lovely, lovely. Let's put this in here. Put that in. Let's put that aside. Let's see what else I have here. Let's see. Now, I think this one, so on one of these, I... I got the paper but I didn't get the stamp set see I didn't buy absolutely everything uh, not that I didn't want to this one is called Beauty of the Earth designer paper let's see what this was I love um I love summer and summer is coming up spring is probably my favorite time but then fall is my favorite and that's what this kind of reminded me of this lovely this one has trees and I'm sure it will be visiting my home soon, but right now I, I had to say no to a couple of things. So, oh, wood grain. Oh, I just love this woodsy. You no, know, when you're looking for something for man cards. Okay, and this is one of those that I gotta pull this out. Okay, so it goes on both sides. So what I had done on some of these is I end up cutting down the middle and this middle strip I use for like some of the verses that go, you know, that you'd put on top of these. But isn't that cool? That splotched kind of beautiful colors. Ah, love it. Ooh, look at that. Oh my goodness sakes. So pretty. Ooh. I love that they have that blue in there too. So it's not just fall colors. It's that kind of fresh looking um, blue background. You put that with blue, you put that with any of these different colors, that's what's going to pop. Oh, there you go. See? Put it with the blue, pulls out the blue. Look at that sky. Mm-mm-mm. Wow. Wowzer. Very pretty. Lots of little splatters. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Couldn't you see a beautiful Christmas card with that winter? To me, that looks wintry. Oh, fall. Let's see what this whole pattern looks like. Let's pull this one out, too. Okay. So this is like you're laying on the ground looking up at the fall leaves. And you're in the middle of the woods. Wow. 
Oh, look at that. Mm -mm -mm, rich colors. So gorgeous. Oh, and here you go. This is perfect for on your cards. The strips. I like when they have it separated enough that you can use this effectively, you know, using strips of, uh, of the paper that way. Look at the wonderful olive green, you know, one of the favorite standby colors. Wow, very pretty. So that was called Beauty, Beauty of the Earth Designer Series Paper. Wowzer, that is gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's put that over here. I'm just stacking it up here. Okay, let's see here. I did get, um, they do offer the 12 by 12s in your in color uh, colors. So all the new in colors, you can get a 12 by 12 sheet. So people that are scrapbooking who are hungry for the 12 by 12s, there you go. That's going to be something that is offered. Love that. Let's see here. Um, this is, okay, so this is hand penned, um, this is that hand penned set. That was this, this one here, the hand penned. This is the Memories and More card pack. Oh, well, let's, let's open this up too. Let's open it off. We can open it off. It's just too much fun. Okay. Here we go. Let's look at this. These, uh, I'm telling you, you get so much bang for your buck on these Memories and More. And we've done a bunch of cards. We have a, we have a, a monkey cut kit that uses um, the cards, the memory pack. You can get so much out of it. So these all have, I think that it's like two of each one. Two of each one. And again, of course, it's different on the back side. So, and it matches the paper. So this would be like a smaller version of the paper. So to use it together. Oh my goodness. Lovely. Always dreaming. Oh, wouldn't that be cool on a scrapbook page to have, you know, it's that child that's always looking out and looking, thinking of something else. Beautiful. A day in the life. Oh boy. And this would be cool because you could color that in with your blends. So you could leave it black and white or color that in. Make it pretty here too. Same thing. Today. Look at that. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Here's just so pretty. Anything is possible. Yep, believe that. I believe that. Be you. Perfect, good positive message. Love grows here. Oh, who doesn't want to say that? Love grows in their home. So pretty. Days like these. Mama said that days like this. Every now and then. Oh my goodness. So pretty. It's the little things. Yep. Isn't that the truth? The details. I'm not good with details. I like the little things. <laughs> Live life in full bloom. Wow. That's cool. So pretty. Oh, there's the details. Somehow I skipped that. Simple Pleasures, what's in the back? These are so cool for coloring in. I think that will be fun. This is the story. Let's see here, what's on the back of this one? Oh, look at how pretty. And gather happy moments. Oh, wow. So pretty. Everyday Adventure. Let me get more of that beautiful, beautiful paper. Let's see here. Life is a garden of possibilities. Lovely. Oh, here. And in the memories and more, you also get these little sticker packs. So here it has a happy birthday and a thinking of you. Um, just areas for verses to stamp. Let's see how many are these. So I have two of this sticker pack. 
Here's another one. Celebrate today, today's events. Two of these. Nice. These are really heavy. Oh, I love this. Remember, we had some other ones that were kind of like this. Just leaves it open. Now, these are longer than our card bases, right? But what I would do is cut, use this, have your verse here, and this piece goes inside. It looks so nice. And this says... Where flowers bloom, so does hope. Oh, so pretty. Currently loving. Hmm, that's, that's cool. There we go. So pretty. Happiness is. List that out. We've got a lot to be thankful for. Cultivate a good life. Oh my goodness. Uplifting, beautiful messages. So pretty. Picture perfect. I always thought, oh, maybe that says Peter. I wouldn't say. <laughs> oh, that's my husband. There we go. All right. Okay. So that is the Memories and More pack that coordinates with the hand-penned petals. So now I have to get all my little cards put together and pull out something else out of my box here. Let's put this in here and keep all my coordinating product together. Try to. Okay. So, big bold look at the colors with the um, cardstock. So, polished pink, fresh freesia. Everything evergreen. Soft, succulent, oh, even th this, oh my goodness sakes, and pale papaya, oh my goodness. So you can see those in a lot of the new designer papers. It's going to be so much fun to pull out and look at that. So let's look at what we have here. I have some more dyes. So those are the beautiful colors. And this is, oh, okay, I thought this was interesting. This is something new, scalloped contour dies. I think it's for, like, edges. And I thought, oh, I like that. This is a standalone die. It's not coordinated with it, any stamp set. But I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, no, this, was, this one goes with the set. I lied to you. Here, it goes with this set. Right here with the daisies, but look at the, again, the scallop. So the other one had the, the small scallop border. This one has all these great dies for rectangles. And I'm just thinking, I wonder if they'll match up with my, my stitched rectangles. But look at the scalloped edge, see that? You're gonna have little lacy edge that's open on the largest one. And this one has little circles that are open. And all these have, like this has dots, this has stitching. So when you cut that out, you're going to have some beautiful, um, extra, extra pretty things here, uh, designs on your paper. So again, this one has eight dies, and here's the color and contour. I like the sayings. I think I like I like different fonts. So this is a cool thing. So there we go, color and contour. Now what's this one? This is the basic border one. Okay. This is the standalone. Let's see if I'm lying. Let's open it up and take a peek and see if I'm telling the truth or not. There we go. I think that this is the, the standalone that had some cool borders. Yes. Okay. Look at how interesting this is. So all these are different borders to cut out on your paper when you're layering up different papers. I mean, clouds, looks like mountain zigzag, just kind of a scalloped edge, and all these have stitching or um, little dots. So that means th the cutting edge is this line in the middle here. So this side of that paper will have little dots. The other side, you're gonna have that same kind of cool design, but it's gonna have stitching. So how fun is that? 
this one too so this one has the dots kind of the oval and then stitching on one side so cool so that's kind of a standalone basic borders die something to look for we're going to be playing with that so there's six of them in there so that is it that's what I got I got multiples of everything so I have a lot of it but um just to play with everything today should we stamp one should we open this up and stamp some colors can I have just a plain stamp something little that I can just stamp oh can I have white paper I'll get one right there. <laughs> well I need it bigger we'll we'll just do one hole let's get a sheet of paper here and just any a flower or Maybe not. What? Oh, well, guess what? I have stamps right here. <laughs> I could use one of these. It's your day. It's your day. Okay, let's use that. <laughs> yeah, I'm asking for stamps, and I have, like, I only have a couple of stamps right here right in front of me. Okay, so let's go with, let's see how pretty these are going to be together. Ever, evening Evergreen. Ooh, la, la. So, you know, these are the new stamp heads. So you open like a compact. So it has this little, and then it has um, the stickers on the back. So I always put the sticker with the, the words on right up here in front. So if you pull this, and then I always put the solid one right here. Um, so when it's open, you know, people will see that. So I'm going to just pull this off. And these I don't need unless you want to learn um, French and German <laughs> or Japanese here. So I'm going to take those off. Let me just pull this one off here. If you leave them on, sometimes they'll come off and then stick somewhere. So I use these two. I pull that whole thing off and then I take, here's my evening evergreen. And on the side that, that I open from, I just kind of glide it over and put it in just like that. Ta-da! And then this one, the solid one. Some people put this inside, but when it's open, I, you know, from either side, you can see this one. So I always put it here so that when I have that open, you know, you have multiple pads open at the same time. They look the same, right? You can't always... There we go. Okay, virgin pad. Ooh. Okay, let's just go right over here. It's your day. Oh, deep, rich, beautiful color. Yay. Okay, so I'm going to close this up. Oh, I love when they're so brand new. <laughs> let's clean this off. Let's move on to our other green, which is so soft. Hence the name Soft Succulent. We have that new stamp set. Well, it's new. It's it's staying the succulent stamp set. And I thought, oh, this is perfect. We need that for this. We need this color. There we go. I won't put the stickers on all of them, so you you don't have to watch me doing the same thing over and over. But so that's what you do. It shows you where you lift up. You just lift that up and and put that on. So. There we go. Okay. Here's the soft succulent. Oh, so pretty. Soft. So it's really, it's darker than the pear pizzazz, but kind of in that, I don't know. Let's, tomorrow I will pull up, uh, I'll have cardstock here so we can compare everything. Okay, now let's do the pale papaya. So lovely. See how light this is. Oh, it's going to turn out here. Okay. There. Oh, soft and peachy. So pretty. Pretty, pretty. There we go. That is so pretty. All right. 
now let's get our fresh freesia. This will be fun to put together with our other purples. The Highland Heather and the Gorgeous Grape. I think that'll be fun to kind of match these up. Here we go. Fresh freesia. Looks so pretty. Come on. There we go. When they're brand new, they're a little bit harder here. <laughs> a little bit harder to... So I'm going to just do it like this so I don't, I'm not fighting with it here. Okay. Ta-da! Oh, that's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, and then one more, the polished, polished pink. So that's going to be vivacious, bright, cheerful, beautiful color. Here we go. Take the cover off. <clears throat> Open it up. Ooh, that's bright. <laughs> That's bright already, and I didn't even do anything yet. Okay. Oh, so pretty. Soft. It's your day. It's your day. You get to see all the new stuff. Woo-hoo! All right. There we go. Lovely new in colors coming your way. I'm gonna turn the camera around here. Close, let's see here, there we go. <clears throat> Hello, Terry. We were just talking about things retiring and things coming in. Now you know how exciting it is. <laughs> so exciting when new stuff comes in. So that's it, that's my new box. I'm gonna play with it tomorrow. I will come back and we'll compare some of the colors with current colors and um, do maybe a little stamping with some of the new things. But I want to show that color comparison, what they, they are going to buddy up with, and um, just some different things, looking at some of the different paper. So, yay, hi, Vera. Oh, yeah, I know. I, I was so anxious. I was, like, bolted up the stairs when I saw on my, my little doorbell thing that it was the UPS man. I was like, yes, yes, they're in time for me to show everybody. So, so exciting. Please join me tomorrow for Winging It on Wednesday. We're going to have some things uh, pulled out and do a little color comparison and play with um, some of the new product. So thank you so much for joining me today. I have some things to do. I have to go and play. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> if I can turn it off, I will finish it up and I'll go play.